is a presentation of WGN Sports. We're lining up at 8 a.m. in anticipation of another huge ball game, and all signs point toward Clark and Addison. And we're set for Chicago Cubs baseball on WGN Sports. A wild start to the final home series of the regular campaign. A 13 to 8 win for the Cubs yesterday. We'll see what happens today. It's game two of a three game series. Hi again, everyone. Welcome to Cubs Baseball. Bob Brenly and Lynn Casper with you. The Cubs with a game and a half lead over Milwaukee. A lot of balls were flying out of the ballpark yesterday, and Aramis Ramirez hit the two biggest home runs. Really shouldn't be a surprise, Lynn. September has always been one of Aramis' more productive months. Last year, it was his best month of the year as far as run production. And yesterday, he was a one-man wrecking crew. Two three-run home runs, including one that cleared Waveland Avenue and left. Both gave the Cubs the lead, and he has come up with such huge hits this year, including the big home runs here at home. 16 home runs at home, also 14 home runs against the National League Central. And for the Cubs in general offensively, September has been a big month. Well, uh, the dog days of summer, I think, took a bite out of the Cubs offensively. In June and July, they just couldn't just seem to get anything going consistently with the bats. That has not been the case in the month of September. You see the comparative numbers, especially the two at the bottom, the home runs, equaling the month of July and August and Soriano has been red hot. Cubs have won 8 of 10. The Pirates have lost 7 straight. Lefties on the mound. We'll talk about that and we'll get you set for baseball. Coming up next. suspicious of this whole Texas tea theory. A new investigation reveals that in the summer before Jed moved away from there, he switched his car insurance to Geico, saving a substantial sum of money. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Hey, Cubs fans, keep your eye on the ball. Every time a Cubs player hits a homer at Wrigley, you could be a winner. It's the Southwest Airlines How Far Did It Fly Home Run Contest. After every Cubs homer, write down the distance along with your name and address and send it to WGN-TV. Ten winners will receive two round-trip tickets to any Southwest Airlines destination. For every Cubs homer, ask yourself, how far did it fly? From Southwest Airlines, proud sponsor of the Chicago Cubs. Chicago Cubs baseball brought to you by Budweiser the perfect balance of flavor and refreshment open up a world of taste Comcast catch more Cubs home games in HD on Comcast digital cable call 1-888 for best TV today the Illinois lottery no matter how you play play the Illinois lottery have a ball by Pepsi your world your Pepsi and by Southwest Airlines. Whether you're traveling for business or pleasure, Southwest can get you there with over 3,000 nonstop daily flights to over 60 destinations. Visit Southwest.com today. Well, technically the uh, final full day of summer today, and uh, it's cooled off a little bit. 
but sunny skies above not a cloud to be found here on the north side today's Cubs broadcast on WGN Sports is presented in high definition sponsored by Comcast and brought to you in 5.1 Dolby surround sound check in on the updated National League Central standings Milwaukee with three in the eighth one in the ninth last night to beat Atlanta four to one great pitching matchup today Giovanni Gallardo and John Smoltz that'll be later this afternoon here two left handers Zach Duke for the Pirates and Rich Hill who is just walking up the mound for the Cubs and now the Pirates starting lineup they have tied their season high with seven straight losses Niger Morgan starts it Jose Bautista is at third base Sanchez Phelps that's Josh Phelps at first Xavier Nady and left no Jason Bay again Ronnie Paulino with good numbers against Hill Steve Pearson right Matt Cata switch hitting shortstop and Zach Duke the pitcher and here's how the Cubs take the field defensively today behind Rich Hill brought to you by Pepsi your world your Pepsi Soriano Monroe and Merton across the outfield the all right handed hitting outfield Ramirez Terrio DeRosa Lee once again across the infield Giovanni Soto after a big day offensively yesterday and defensively for that matter will be behind the plate once again. He'll be doing the catching for left hander Rich Hill. Get a look at his numbers on the season looking for his 10th victory. I think the key for Rich Hill today is going to be his ability to spot his fastball. We know he's got the good curve and an occasional straight changeup, but a lot of good fastball hitters in this Pirates lineup and his ability to keep that fastball out of the middle of the plate I think will determine how well he does today. The umpires Tom Hallion will work the plate in his 15th season. Dreckman Cousy and the crew chief McClellan around the bases. Yesterday it was warm in the shade hot in the sun today it's cool in the shade and warm in the sun. And the wind is blowing in a much different weather atmosphere today. Yesterday you put the ball in the air you have a chance to hit it out. You now the pitchers enjoyed their breakfast a little more today than they did yesterday. Tom Hallion wanted that baseball from Rich Hill. I think just a slight delay here. We're waiting on the second base umpire Phil uh, Cuzzy that had to run back into the clubhouse for some reason and now he's taking his position out in the middle of the field and looks like we're about ready to get underway. Can you do that before we left home. <laughs> she needs a haircut. Bunted by Morgan. Hill gets to it in the flip. Not in time. And Morgan has now let off the last four games with a hit. Two triples and two singles. And in his previous three games, he came around to score, including yesterday. Well, that's been one of the deficiencies for Rich Hill this year his ability to get off that mound and field his position from our Southwest Robo Cam. He gets to the ball in good shape, just had some trouble getting it out of the glove. And with the speed of Niger Morgan he just outruns that underhand toss. Boy this guy is uh, some kind of exciting. We've talked about him going back to the series in Pittsburgh on that last road trip when we got our first look at him. Very exciting player. One of a couple of rookies in Jim Tracy's lineup Steve Pierce the other playing right Hill's going to fire to first Morgan back in time. Pirates tied for the worst record in the National League with the Cubs next opponent the Florida Marlins 66 and 88. Slide step in the pitch had almost hit Batista. Who is 0 for 11 in his career versus Rich Hill. I've said it many times that's not all bad whether he meant to do it or not keep these Pirates hitters honest I'm certain Jose Batista won't be leaning out over the plate anytime soon. Well, as we get into late September that's something we wouldn't have seen in June because of the angle of the sun a little bit more to the south. So some shadows right in front of the Pirates dugout. And as usual this time of year the sun will become a factor uh, for different defenders uh, as the day wears on right now the third baseman shortstop and left fielder would figure to have the most problem with the sun and it will move its way around to right field as the game progresses. 
In case you're wondering, Bob, and I know you are, the oh, autumnal please. equinox will be tomorrow morning at 4.51 a.m. Central Daylight Time, and I know you'll be up to commemorate and celebrate. Batista went around, and now it's 3-2. and two. Well, that may just be part of the celebration at 4 o'clock in the morning. You might just stay up till then. Get a little nap and head out to the ballpark. <laughs> Who knows? 66 degrees at game time and the wind out of the east at 7. Morgan was running and it's fouled back. And the pitch Morgan was not running and the Pirates have the first two on base just like they did yesterday when they scored a first inning run against Jason Marquis. Always great to see Dave Otto the left hander in the Cubs radio booth. Unfortunately when we see Dave that means Ron Santo uh, is a little under the weather but he's feeling better. He almost came to the park today but he wants to be a hundred percent for the final road trip coming up. He's had a chest cold and Ron just needs another day of rest so we may see him back here tomorrow. Dave working with Pat Hughes and Corey Provis today Matt Bolts engineering. Freddie Sanchez had a rough day on Friday 0 for 4 with a walk and he committed the critical error on what could have been a double play ball. He's going to flare this ball out on his shallow right. They have Morgan here and Terry with a great play as Matt Merton bounced but was a pretty routine throw. Two down. Well that was a big play by Terrio. Merton had more time than I think he thought he had. Had to rush the throw. I'm not sure where Niger Morgan was going right there. And a great pick by Ryan Terrio. Uh, yeah, Merton could have made a little better throw there to make it an easier play for Terrio but he digs it out of the dirt keeps a foot on the bag. What a double play right there. And fouled back by Josh Phelps. So the rough weekend for Sanchez continues. It's kind of a puzzling base running play right there. I can't quite figure out what Morgan uh, was reading there. And we also talk about, I mean, once he got into no man's land, he probably should have just tried to score because he figures if Merton's going to catch it, I'm going to be out anyway. Well, and if he doesn't catch that ball uh, because he is charging in toward the infield, it was a relatively shallow ball. Uh, there's no way Morgan would have been able to score if it dropped. So you know, would assume that caution would be the uh, better part of valor right there. But Morgan trying to get a jump and score if the ball did drop. So now Batista is the only base runner and a one two pitch to Phelps a chopper and a big kick at the end off the lip of the grass. Terrio stepping on the bag and the threat is over. Cubs are coming up against left-hander Zach Duke. With convenient flights every day, Southwest Airlines gives you the freedom to do business out of town and still come home at night. Winston, I'm home! <laughs> Fly one of Southwest's 11 daily nonstops from Chicago Midway to the San Francisco Bay Area for just $99, including new service to San Francisco International. You are now free to move about the country. You're so excited. You're very excited. <laughs> everybody <laughs> says, you guys should be in that commercial. <laughs> we were already a walking eHarmony commercial. We tell everybody we know. I actually rode in to eHarmony. We actually kind of joke because we'll find ourselves talking 
about the same things they say on the commercials. And also yeah. it's fun just talking about our story and sharing it again with somebody yeah. else. We are. We're absolutely real. We are real. <laughs> Met on eHarmony. Yep. So many people have found the one they were looking for on eHarmony. Log on today and review your matches for free. Tommy. Marco. Looking good. I thank you. Love the jacket. Do you? Yes. $90. What? Ooh. Nice shoes. 50 bucks. I'm proud of you. Love the hair. Oh, yeah, my cousin does it. 20 bucks. Very nice. Nice tie. Thanks for thinking my tie is nice. What'd you spend on that? 12 bucks. Double cheeseburger, $1. McDonald's Melty Beefy Double Cheeseburger. I'll give you two bucks. Three. What are you made of money? Just one of the extravagant choices on the dollar menu. Are you a dollar millionaire? Here's Lou Pinella's Cubs lineup against Zach Duke, brought to you by Pepsi. Your world, your Pepsi. Same one through eight as yesterday. And I can tell you one thing. We don't want to miss the first pitch to Alfonso Soriano because the last two games he has hit a home run on that pitch. Pirates defensively today. Nady in left. Morgan in center. Pierce over in right field. Batista at third. Keita at shortstop today. Freddie Sanchez at second base. Josh Phelps at first. Ronnie Paulino once again doing the catching for the left-hander Zach Duke. Missed over two months of the season with severe left elbow tendonitis. This is his first start since coming back off the disabled list. He did have one three-inning relief appearance. Sounds like his pitch count will be held to about 75 to 90 depending on how things go. Soriano did go after that first one. It was a curveball. Just what we said yesterday. He's either going to hit a home run or miss it. <laughs> Look at this number. 96 and a third innings pitched. 144 base hits surrendered by Zach Duke this year. They want him to get back to his 2005 form. When he went 8 and 2 with a 181 and 14 starts in his rookie season. Off the hands of Soriano. And before everybody had an opportunity to get settled into their seats here at Wrigley yesterday, Soriano with a big fly to left field. First pitch of the ball game. He's on Paul Mahalo. So Mahalo yesterday, he struggled. Duke today, another lefty, Tom Gorzolani from Orland Park. And they have combined to go seven and two with a 280 earned run average and 11 career starts in this ballpark. A little bit outside, according to Tom Hallion. You know, Duke will feature a fastball, a curveball, a slider, a changeup. He doesn't throw many sliders to right-handers. He doesn't throw many changeups to left-handers. Strikes out Soriano. And with one out, it'll bring up the red hot Mark DeRosa, who's gone 10 for 14 on the homestand. He started starting to uh, snip 300 right now at 297. Fastball away at 90. Ramirez in the hole behind Derek Lee who's on deck. DeRosa's batting average as he smacks that one out in the left center and a oh. jump catch by Niger Morgan. Just overran that ball. And a strange start for the Pirates center fielder. And the bases and on defense. on the verge of being out of control on this ball. I think he overplayed the wind right there. Thought that ball was going to get knocked down a little more than it was. Has to go up the ladder. You don't usually see outfielders freeze in their tracks and have to make a leaping catch like that. Derek Lee with two outs. I was going to say DeRosa's uh, best batting average in a full season prior to this year was 296 last season with Texas. Caught the outside corner. 
Well Derek uh, did play himself the other day and I guess it was like a 20 second scene that they shot for ER and took four hours. I think he thought it was going to take that long and that ball won't take long to get out. And it's one to nothing. Number 19 for Lee. They hit four yesterday and starting off with a bang today. Derek was a little upset with the strike call on the pitch before and he takes it out on the next with a little fastball inside quick bat through the strike zone. Wow. Bottom of the knees for a strike on Ramirez yesterday's offensive hero and we're getting some nasty words exchanged already between the Cubs dugout and the home plate umpire Tom Hallion looked like that first pitch to Aramis was a little bit low but it was called a strike. Yeah, it may have been a little bit low and Ronnie Paulino caught it poorly which made it look even worse than it really was and the Cubs dug out wanted to let Tom Hallion know that uh, they didn't think that pitch was good enough to be called a strike. Lou with his game face on early. Just two RBIs away from 100 for Ramirez. And Sanchez can't get it. He was positioned properly, but Ramirez was able to just get it over the second baseman's head. Well, there have been times in the second half of the season when it looked like Derek Lee was really having trouble turning on inside pitches. A lot of fastballs that he was getting from the middle of the plate in were kind of an inside out swing to right field but our Southwest how far did it fly 388 feet tells me that Derek Lee is starting to turn on those inside fastballs. Matt Merton lines it to right and it's going to bounce in front of Pierce. Now Pierce did not really have a chance to catch that ball but uh, Bob reading some of the comments from the Pirates regarding the outfield uh, they said because of some of the the bumps out there that they've had to play it safe on coming in on balls just like the one Merton hit. Well, both teams are playing on the same surface and just about every field in Major League Baseball at this time of the year is starting to show some signs of wear and tear. The ball was hit hard and sinking on its way out to right field. Matt Merton now 10 for 21 lifetime against Zach Duke. Well, Roger Baird and his grounds crew, they had done yeoman's work all season long, keeping this field in top notch shape. And the uh, police concerts. That one's off the glove of Duke. Sanchez is going to pick it up, and it gets away from the first baseman, Phelps. Ramirez scores, Merton to third. And the Pirates' defense again, a little shaky. They committed three errors yesterday. A single for Soto. He will not get an RBI. An error on Sanchez allowing Ramirez to score. Well, that error could be attributed to the fact that the Pirates don't know a lot about Giovanni Soto from our Southwest RoboCam. A rocket off of Zach Duke. Sanchez had a lot more time than he realized there. Really rushed his throw, put it in the dirt to Josh Phelps. It got away, and the Cubs score another run. Well, that ball was smoked back up the middle of the field. Well, you could see Soto was still a good four or five steps away from first base when Sanchez picked that ball up, just rushed his throw. So Jim Colburn, former Cub pitcher, and the pitching coach for the Pirates, out to chat with Zach Duke. Well, and it's always somewhat of a concern when a guy comes up after having a huge minor league season like Giovanni Soto had this year. Will he be able to carry it over in the big leagues? Well, I think so. Hitting 464 with four doubles and three home runs in his last four games, hitting 500 with a couple of homers and two doubles. Craig Monroe playing center. 
Ball one. Just to follow up on the field. Uh, we had to heal storms that came through here which did some damage and the grounds crew worked very hard to get the field ready and once one visiting player criticizes a field every team that comes in they're going to be asked about it and generally the Cubs have beaten those teams here at Wrigley Field and if you're not winning you're normally going to complain about something it's easier to blame the field than blame your own performance on the field. Brown's crew will handle the stretch as always in the final home regular season game. And we'll have it for you tomorrow. When it's at 12:30 Central Time. First pitch will be at 1:20. Push for the playoffs with Dan Roan at 12:30. Leadoff man at one. Duke's one-two pitch is buried in the dirt. It's Rhino. With a pink hat. Swing and a miss. So Monroe couldn't handle the breaking ball, but the Cubs get two. After one, Cubs two, Pirates nothing. You're messing with the wrong guy. We're up to a million hits. Sweet. Who is it? Chuck Norris. Yeah, right. You can never have too many people on your side. Right there when you need them most. And now, two names committed to improving senior health are there for you, too. Introducing AARP Medicare Complete, provided through Secure Horizons, the only Medicare Advantage plan with the AARP name on it. AARP and Secure Horizons are committed to seniors and all Medicare beneficiaries, and we'd like to send you a free educational guide, Medicare Advantage Explained. To get yours, call today. Together, we can help you get more from your Medicare benefits. I've known Secure Horizons by United Healthcare for years. Medicare health plans are their specialty. And now with AARP, I'm expecting even better things to come. I'll be at your side. There's no need to worry. AARP Medicare Complete, provided through Secure Horizons. Call now for your free guide. This is Duralast. Brakes built to exceed the need. Built to last. Duralast. Torture tested to ensure maximum stopping power. Get the brakes built to exceed the need. Only at AutoZone. Superstation WGN is your home for big league baseball. So come on home. This is the 80th home date of the season, and the uh, Cubs today will set a new franchise record for a single season. They will pass the 3,169,827. Well, that's what it is. The record back in 2004, 3 million 170 thousand 184. So the Cubs needed to draw 358 to break the record. And just doing a head count, uh, <laughs> I think <laughs> the Cubs have done it today. You think? So congratulations. And the entire Cubs organization, top to bottom, should feel very proud. This place has uh, been at near capacity every day, including all the weekday matinees. Past Hill, the Terrio gobbles it up and he throws out Xavier Nady. One out in the second. Ronnie Paulino, the Pirates catcher, will bat and. If there's somebody out there concerned about the Cincinnati Reds protest after that double switch 
On uh, Monday, it has been denied by Major League Baseball. It happened a couple of days ago, so rest assured that that win for the Cubs will stand. Now, Lupinella made a double switch, but it was his first visit to the mound, and soft liner is going to get over Terrio. Paulino is aboard. Uh, Lou was maybe what? Eight to ten feet beyond the uh, foul line going toward the mound when he stopped and then went to the home plate umpire who I believe was Rick Reed and said he was going to make a double switch. Pete McCannon thought according to his rule book that you can't do that but the umpire's book said you can. End of story. And we mentioned it before there is a rule book that uh, you can buy at any bookstore. Uh, but there's also an addendum which is like the Manhattan phone book uh, a lot of tweaks to the rules and different interpretation of the rules and, and the one in the rule book that we had up here said that the manager is supposed to go directly to the home plate umpire when he wants to make a double switch but the addendum says if it's the first visit to the mound it's not necessary to do that. This is uh, 127 pages. Now if you need some trouble, you know, having trouble getting to sleep some night, read the section about batting out of order. They name them all with the uh, the military code: Abel, Abel, Baker, Charlie, so forth and so on. And if Abel bats before Baker and Charlie is in the on deck circle, and there's several pages about batting out of order and what the penalties are and how you go about calling it. Steve Pierce. He's completely disintegrated his bat, but he ended up with a hit and the throw gets passed, but no damage. So what do you think, Bob? Could I be a, a hand model? Oh, very nice. You and George Costanza. Yeah. Get some oven mitts for those paws. <laughs> Boy, what a difference a day makes with the uh, wind coming in today. Uh, it feels like it's about 25 degrees cooler in the booth. Well, I'm sure those people sitting in the shade here at Wrigley Field feel the same way. I mean, we, we talk about Wrigley playing as two different fields with the wind blowing in, the wind blowing out, and same goes for the fans if you're in the shade or in the sun. I'm sure those in the sun are very comfortable today. Matt Cata, the switch hitter, getting the start at short. Former Cubs Cesar Torres left the game early yesterday with right elbow irritation, but would be available for a pinch hit appearance later. Cesar committed an error in the ballgame, but he had a couple of extra base hits. A double and an RBI triple, and he scored twice. Two strikes the count. And as Paul Sullivan uh, noted in the Chicago Tribune today, if the Cubs win the division, his tourists will get a playoff share. Since he was with the team until the middle of the year. Boy, those share meetings can be very contentious depending on uh, how many guys uh, teams decide to include in that postseason bonus and what share they should get of a full share. One two another floater and this ball is going to drop fair it kicks into foul territory through the bullpen and the Pirates get one. Boy, what a tough luck inning this has been for Rich Hill. Not one of the three hits has been hit particularly hard, but they're on the board. It's two to one. Right in on the knuckles of Matt Cata, just bloops it out there over Derek Lee's head into shallow right field, right near the line. The ball kicked into foul territory. Merton actually makes a nice play off the bricks out there in the bullpen and quickly got the ball back into home plate. A lot of factors to deal with down there in that bullpen. You got relief pitchers running around with folding chairs and security guards and the benches, the shade and the sun. Infield in against the pitcher Duke, who's hitting 233 in his career 190, which is solid for a pitcher. Yeah, Lenny Harris in 2003 should have gotten a playoff share from both teams participating in the NLCS, the Cubs and the Marlins. He's the only player to play for both 
NLCS participants in the same year. I got two shares uh, back in 1989. One from the Toronto Blue Jays. I was with them until early in July. I got released, re-signed with the Giants, and of course the Giants played the Oakland Athletics in the '89 World Series. I get a small share from nice. both sides. That's nice. It's like playing the stock market correctly. I want to play in all the postseason teams. Now the Blue Jays were happy to give me a bonus to get rid of me. <laughs> that is fair, and the Pirates are going to get the lead. Zach Duke with a two run single. Don't know if he meant to do that or if he was just way behind but it worked. Well, it worked perfectly Ramirez drawn in a little bit protecting against a bunt. I don't think he could have gotten to that ball even if he was playing at a normal depth at third base. It's a late swing rocket right down the third base line. Larry Rothschild out. And let's meet today's celebrity bat kids brought to you by Walgreens the pharmacy of the Chicago Cubs getting an autograph from Carlos Zambrano eight year old Ryan Sullivan from Laporte Indiana. Kylie Martin 10 years old from Knox Indiana having a great time at Wrigley Field thanks to our friends at Walgreens. It's back to school soon. They're off today. Four consecutive hits for the Pirates, and Morgan skies this ball near first base. Pulling Lee toward the seats, and a nice catch. He got over to the barrier, had plenty of time. And that's the second out. I didn't know if that wind was going to keep that ball fair. It was pushing it over toward the bleachers. D. Lee with a couple of quick looks at where that barrier is and able to reach over and make the catch. What a great shot. Derek, we appreciate you framing our WGN Sports in HD banner. <laughs> I'm sure that was his foremost concern as he chased that foul ball. Now with Steve Traxel up in the bullpen, here's the deal. He is scheduled tentatively to throw a simulated game after the ball game today. But that was if he's not needed in the real game. Who had a shot at that? Somebody in the uh, press box, the scribes, had a shot at it and couldn't couldn't haul it in. Clank. I could hear the noise all the way over here. Paul Leduski had a shot at it. He was a pro about it, though. You know what he did? When he dropped it, he just went right back to his keyboard. Called strike three. So Hill gets out of the inning, but the Pirates get the lead with three runs. It's three to two. Do you want to survive this thing, or do you want to play by the rules? Hers. My only job is to see that justice is served. When they met, they heard bells. Call me crazy. I like having you around. But that was only the first round. I'm not going to let you operate me. Duly noted. Don Johnson, Yasmeen Bleeth. I hate you. Damn, you're hard to play, sister. Nash Bridges, weekdays at 10 Eastern on Superstation WGN. If a Cubs player hits a homer today, write down the distance and player's name and send it to WGN-TV. You can win two round-trip tickets to any Southwest Airlines destination. When I'm riding, I can't let my allergy medicine put me in a fog. So I only ride Claritin Clear. Claritin works hard to relieve my worst allergy symptoms. Sneezing, runny nose, for a full 24 hours. In fact, it works so well, only Claritin has proven to make me alert and focused. And it doesn't make me drowsy like some other medicines can. When I get allergy relief and stay razor sharp, I'm ahead from start to finish. Stay alert, stay focused, live Claritin and Clear. Introducing the Chase Freedom Credit Card. Now with triple rewards where you spend the most. So if it's gas stations and coffee shops one month and the next month, it's grocery stores, the gym, and department
department stores. Chase Freedom is the only credit card that adjusts as your everyday spending changes and gives you triple bonus rewards automatically. That's Chase Freedom. Get it free at chase.com slash freedom. Someone came to see you. He doesn't bite, he's dead. Reno 911. Tonight at 11.30 p.m. Eastern. Now, Tom Hallion, this is what it's all about. I mean, a called third strike should look like this. Yeah, apparently he's watched Naked Gun recently, does his best Leslie Nielsen impersonation. He must have some friends in the front row back there. <laughs> Call it with enthusiasm. I like when Jay Johnstone was at the plate and the pitch came in and he didn't make a call. Knocked down by the pitcher Duke. Everybody stared at him. Waited. Strike. They were, yeah, strike. And he got into it. Oh, that yeah. was classic. Doing splits and moon walking around behind home plate on called strikes. Yeah, that is not a baseball movie, but some of the funniest baseball scenes in film history. Rich Hill with his first at bat, swings and misses. Cubs, a season high, eight games over 500 for the second time this year. They were also 57 and 49. They haven't been nine games above the break even point. Since they ended the 2004 season 16 over. Much better against left handed starters lately. Four and one this month. Seven and three since August 16th. Tough hop for Batista, but he has time. Hey, Cub fans, make sure you check out our WGN baseball blog at WGNTV.com. I have a post about uh, several things going on today, including the Cubs choosing the winner of the ultimate seventh inning stretch competition. We'll have more details coming up on that. You know, I do that with my pens, but not with my pretzels. The only thing I would worry about is the big salt kind of getting stuck. The hands free hot dog. You hear about phones. That ball's deep to right, and it is going to get out. Soriano's tied it with his 30th. 3 3. Well, the power switch has been flipped on, and it has been on since the month started. Good sign from Alfonso Soriano, his 30th bomb of the year. Only the fourth home run hit to right field. Stayed with that pitch and rode it out of here. Our Southwest, how far did it fly? 370 feet. Pierce coming over. And he leaped, but that ball was just beyond the ledge. Well, we talked about Derek Lee earlier and how it's a good sign to see him pulling the ball out of the ballpark with authority. And for Soriano, Every bit is important that he drives the ball the opposite field once in a while. Let's see, Soriano, one, two, three, four, fifth time he's hit 30. Kate is going to battle the Sun. And he makes a catch. DeRosa's out, so are the Cubs, but they tie it on Soriano's 30th. Home run at 61st RBI of the year. It's 3 3 after 2. Ted Danson is the doctor who specializes in sarcasm. Becker, late nights on Superstation WGN. What makes the world's perfect beer? Start with the choicest hops and the best barley malt. Then Beechwood age it for that crisp, clean taste. Throwing a football and 60,000 friends. The taste.
taste that makes it game day. The perfect balance of flavor and refreshment. Budweiser. Open up a world of taste. Tommy. Marco. Looking good. I thank you. Love the jacket. Do you? Yes. $90. What? Ooh. Nice shoes. 50 bucks. I'm proud of you. Love the hair. Oh, yeah, my cousin does it. 20 bucks. Very nice. Nice tie. Thanks for thinking my tie is nice. What would you spend on that? 12 bucks. Double cheeseburger. One dollar. McDonald's Melty Beefy Double Cheeseburger. I'll give you two bucks. Three. What, are you made of money? Just one of the extravagant choices on the dollar menu. Are you a dollar millionaire? Life with diabetes? It's about staying ahead. That's why my new meter is Contour. It has no coding for fewer steps, which means... No slowing down. <laughs> so life is pretty good. Let's go. Life with diabetes? It's about going for it. That's why my new Contour has all the stuff I need to get it done right in just five seconds. The new Contour meter from Bear is the most complete meter yet. It has all the features you need in just five seconds. So... Getting more just got easier. Make your new meter the Contour meter from Bear. That's easy accuracy. Answered by Bear. To some serious monkey business. Funniest pets and people, Tuesday night on Superstation WGN. Three three ties, Soriano and Oppo. So each team with three runs on five hits. Thought it might look different than yesterday with the wind blowing in, but there's been a lot of offense. Freddy Sanchez hits it foul down to the right out of play. strike Pirates second sacker be surrounded by Terrio team now you mentioned the uh, for Soriano the fourth opposite field home run he's hit it's actually the first at Wrigley Field this year all of his other home runs have basically come from 368 and left center and over to the left that according to the hit chart on MLB.com it is odd to see him uh, hit the ball the other way. But always encouraging. It's very rare that a hitting coach or a manager will be critical of a player for hitting the ball to the opposite field. Called strike, nothing and two on Phelps. The rare exceptions are guys early in their careers like Matt Merton and I would even use Miguel Cabrera with the Florida Marlins when he was 20 21 years old guys who hitting coaches and managers thought would hit for power maybe even Derek Lee to an extent and it just was a matter of time before as you said they start to turn on those pitches that are very pullable but it's not a criticism necessarily it's just a if you want to hit for home run power eventually you're going to have to turn on those balls part of the natural progression and a lot of that has to do with understanding counts understanding opposing pitchers how they're likely to pitch you when they're likely to come inside with those fastballs and as you get a little more experience get a few more at bats under your belt you learn which situations you can look inside and try to pull the ball foul tip strike three. Honor your loved ones with an engraved brick on the sidewalks beneath the historic Wrigley Field marquee. Join thousands of others in the commemorative paver program and make your mark on the grounds of Wrigley Field. All orders come with a replica brick for your home or office. Space is limited, so order today. For complete details, you can visit Cubs.com or call 1-800-851-6846. Hill very sharp here in the third inning. Nady hitting 370 this year against the Cubs, 351 in his career. He's always had good success against the Cubs. Trying to go to the back door with a curveball and missed. Jimmy Farrell, our good friend, second to last regular season game here at Wrigley Field. Right now, chatting with Cubs closer Ryan Dempster. Swing and a miss. 
Went with the heat that time. And it's Hill's first one, two, three frame. We're still 3-3. Three, three. Thanks, folks, but I gotta get going. Uh, Cindy, keep my plane ready a little later. We're not finished yet. Cindy, I got stuck on a client call. Cindy, something else just came up. Oh, yeah. Hey, Cindy. Your plane is ready. Thanks, Cindy. You're the best. With so many convenient non-stop flights, you'll feel like you have your own company plane. You can count on Southwest Airlines to get you there on time with friendly customer service. You are now free to move about the country. <laughs> Ooh, the never-ending pasta bowl is going on. Oh, you didn't know? No, no, I had no idea. <laughs> Olive Garden's never-ending pasta bowl with new smoked mozzarella Alfredo. Pick any sauce and pasta combination, then another. Just $8.95. Have all you want. At eHarmony, we match you across 29 dimensions of compatibility. And right now, not only can you log on to eHarmony.com and get your personality profile, you can also review your matches all for free. Aren't you curious to see who you would be matched up with according to compatibility? He loves me for me. Visit eHarmony.com and discover what so many singles have found. Log on today and review your eHarmony matches absolutely free. eHarmony.com Reunited and it feels so good. <laughs> One in three pets will get lost. So Home Again created the only proactive pet recovery network, instantly alerting local vets and shelters the minute your pet is reported missing. Talk to your vet today about Home Again. On the next Reno 911. Internet predator Mike check. An online bust goes off. You sugar daddy 69. Sure as heck am. You know, I would love to put my lips on that. Yeah? I'd love to have put my lips, lips on, on that. Because I am so thirsty. Reno 911. Tonight at 11.30 p.m. Eastern on Superstation WGN. Yeah, congratulations to Jimmy Farrell. A quarter century of service as the umpire room attended here at Wrigley Field. He will be honored tomorrow. Derek Lee takes one in the dirt. Lee homered in the first inning. Duke coming back quickly. A bouncer kicking foul. Lynn have a, a nice card here from the ladies at the uh, Westwood Terrace Senior Home in Moline, Illinois. They've got a group of ladies that watch every Cubs game in the seventh inning. They ring bells and sing the stretch. Derek Lee fouls one down the right field line. They've got Cubs memorabilia hanging all over the place. The ladies are from 43 to 89 years old. Big, big Cub fans. So hello to all the ladies at the uh, Westwood Terrace Center in Moline. Also best wishes to Mary O'Leary born in Ireland and raised seven children on Waveland Avenue. Huge Cub fan. It's been a tough year for Mary. You know, suffered some losses with her family but uh, rooting hard for the Cubs to pull it out. The Herrera family here today from Albuquerque, New Mexico, their first visit to Wrigley Field. They've been Cub fans since 1945. A roller in the right for Lee. He's two for two. Five hits in the series. And time to have a ball with our friends at the Illinois Lottery. Longtime Cubs employee Arlene Gill in her 35th year. She's the executive assistant to the general manager. Yesterday threw out the ceremonial first pitch, had a great party in the stadium club after the ball game and just about every member of the Cubs organization was there to honor Arlene. Kerry Wood caught the ball and uh, yeah, normally there's a player to catch the ball. That's it. Ramirez cranks this ball deep to left and it's up and out. He just got it out. Five three. Twenty sixth home run give him a hundred RBIs for the year. And he has killed his former team this weekend. Fifth 100 RBI campaign his last seven seasons. Well, I 
have to give him credit. Uh, yesterday he said that you don't worry about the win and what the flags are doing. You just try to hit the ball as hard as you can and hope for the best. Part of you wants to say, yeah, right. Well, you know what? He had the exact, exact same approach and the wind's blowing in and same result. Yeah, yesterday he hit one across Waveland Avenue into the trees. That one just did get up into the basket. Good line drive home run. Soriano, Lee, and Ramirez have hit 23 of the Cubs' 35 home runs this month. Talk about getting hot when you need your money players to step up. I seem to recall about the first week of the month uh, having a conversation about this is when the superstars, your highest paid players, need to put the rest of the team on their shoulders, and that has really happened. Well, just a line drive home run to left field. Uh, Southwest, how far did it fly? Far enough, 363 feet. And a season high, three home runs given up by Duke. Good swing by Soto, who has homered in each of his last two games, both starts. Most home runs the Cubs have hit in a month. They have 35 since they hit 37 in July of 2005. Floater. Foul. One of the three homers given up today by Duke, a career high. Cubs lead 5-3. Duke has struck out back-to-back -back hitters after the Ramirez home run. Yeah, at the, uh, at the party for Arlene yesterday, uh, she was joking with Yosh Kawano saying, I thought Yosh was going to retire with me, but that's not going to happen. Yosh, uh, the visiting clubhouse assistant, has uh, worked here at Wrigley Field for 60 years. I mean, he's been here forever. I'm not exactly sure how long. It's always great to see Yosh at the ballpark. And I haven't heard of any plans to retire. Yosh hanging with his good friend Ryan Sandberg this week. Well, and we showed you that first pitch that Arlene Gill threw before the ball game yesterday, and uh, a real good indication of the respect that uh, not only everybody in the front office has for Arlene, but the players down on the field. I mean, normally uh, one of the rookies will go out to catch a ceremonial first pitch. Everybody was out there yesterday. You saw half the team standing behind the mound. Kerry Wood caught the pitch. Arlene has been such a big part of this organization for so long. She is sorely going to be missed. But we wish her the best. She, she deserves it. Monroe lifts it foul. A full count on Monroe, who's playing center. So Jock Jones has been out of the lineup the last couple of days. Terrio hitting eighth. The Cubs have done it with a home run ball again today as Monroe walks. Getting hot at the same time. Uh, how much do they feed off each other? I mean, it is an individual sport in a lot of ways. There are a lot of team aspects uh, to this game, but is there a little bit of a friendly competition? I mean, you're not trying to hit a home run when you go up there, but does yeah. it make pitchers pitch differently when they see a lineup like this? It's this hot. I think more than anything else, uh, you hit the nail on the head there. You know, a pitcher gives up a couple of long balls. All of a sudden, he starts guiding the ball, trying to make perfect pitches, falling behind in the count. And then when he does come in that strike zone, uh, that's where that friendly competition comes in among teammates. Uh, you don't want to miss those meatballs down the middle of the plate, and the Cubs have rarely missed them recently. Oh, 
one look by Duke at the runner. And that pitch is low, 2 and 0. Oh. You know, and Lynn, it actually starts sometimes before the series even begins. You sit in there in your advance meeting, and one of the things that most teams go over is who's hot and who's not. And when you've got a laundry list of guys who are swinging the bat well, that's a little intimidating to a pitching staff coming into a series. Knocked down by Kata. Ball gets away. Everybody's safe. Terrio will be credited with a single. And that's the eighth hit for the Cubs already. Hard hit ball toward the hole. Kata went down to a knee to make the play right there. Was trying to be very sure he was going to field it. And it kicked out of his glove. Look at that. that was an infield hit for Ryan Terrio. Cubs trying to hold serve before Milwaukee plays Atlanta later today. Spraying them all over the field. That's what you like to see. And then we were talking a moment ago about, uh, we'll call them the big three Soriano, Lee, and Ramirez. 12 for 21 so far in this series alone with six home runs and 11 runs batted in. Ooh. Damage done in ten and two thirds innings so far in this series. We picked up where Mark DeRosa left off against the Reds. Sign that fan to a contract. Gave it to a kid. Two and two on Hill. Ronnie Paulino giving Tom Hallion a little extra time as he walks out to chat with the Clifton, Texas native Zach Duke. No, they haven't invented a self cleaning home plate just yet. Still have to grab that brush occasionally. Able to flag it down, who will throw out Hill. And it's been a home run day again for the Chicago Cubs. Ramirez getting high fives after giving the Cubs the. blood sugar is such a hassle. Mom, why not make your life easier? Try the Breeze 2 meter. It's the one I use because it has 10 tests in one disc, so you don't have to struggle with all those little strips. And I never have to code. Fewer steps. That sounds a lot easier. <laughs> Introducing the new Breeze 2 meter from Bear. It's the only meter with a 10 test disc, so just pull and test. And now with a smaller blood sample and results in just five seconds, it's easier than ever. So if you're ready for an easy meter with no coding, now's the time to switch. And if you already use the Breeze meter, upgrade today. Just call 800-500-7300 or visit bearddiabetes.com to get your free Breeze 2 meter. That's a $65 value that's yours free. You are so smart. Well, I get it from my mother. Of course you do. 
Call now or go to BearDiabetes.com for your free new Breeze 2 meter. That's easy accuracy. Answered by Bear. Do you know your credit score? Do you know what's in your credit report? You can find out for free right now at FreeCreditReport.com. Knowing my credit score helped me save money on my home loan. Now we can monitor all three of our national credit reports every day. It helps us save money and check for potential identity theft. Just a few clicks and I get my credit report and credit score free. Log on now to FreeCreditReport.com. Free Offer replies with the Roman Triple Advantage. And now the historic moment has come. For the first time in franchise history, a fan will lead us today in the seventh inning stretch. And the winner of the first ever ultimate seventh inning stretch competition is Dustin Eggleseeder. Congratulations, Dustin. Congratulations to Dustin Eagles, uh, sorry, Eagles Cedar from Guttenberg, Iowa. Apparently the entire state of Iowa got together and uh, threw in their votes for Dustin. 22 years old, a very emotional day for him and his family. He was recently diagnosed with bone cancer, but the Cubs have kept up his spirits and we will have him in the booth. He will conduct the seventh inning stretch today and then we'll chat with him about this journey as Derek Lee makes a catch. To retire Ronnie Paulino. Well, and congratulations to all of them. To yep. all the contestants. Yeah, such a wonderful job. Uh, they, they brought their A game. A lot of enthusiasm. Some of them very good singers. Some of them not so good, but the enthusiasm was there from top to bottom. What a uh, great competition, great promotion. Something like 150,000 votes came in. Dutchie Carey was with us yesterday, the widow of Harry Carey. She sang along with a recorded version of Harry's last rendition 10 years ago yesterday, back in 1997. Giovanni made the catch. He reached right near the netting. And was able to get it. Not an easy play at all. Boy, that's against every instinct uh, that you rely on as a catcher. Normally, that pop up behind home plate will come back toward home plate because of the spin on the baseball. But with the wind pushing toward the backstop today, that ball went the opposite direction of where it should have gone. And Giovanni Soto with a nice job to battle the sun and the wind and the backstop makes a nice catch. Kata hit an RBI double down the right field line in the second inning. We're only in the fourth. It's 5 3 Cubs. They won yesterday 13 to 8. Today's game was 7 7 through 3. No one's out of play. Two balls, two strikes on Kata. The best seat in the house. <laughs> Perpetually smiling. They, they can tell all their friends they went to the ball game with a Hall of Fame. Swing and a miss. Rich Hill has sent down eight straight, and he has a 5 3 lead. This copyrighted telecast is presented by the authority of the Chicago Cubs and may not be reproduced nor retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Chicago Cubs. Think back to the best beer you've ever had. Now, get ready to top it. 
Fresh Budweiser served on draft. No other beer is this fresh. And the taste? Just as the brewmaster intended. Will it be your best beer ever? I say we find out. Budweiser. Open up a world of taste. Introducing the Chase Freedom Credit Card. Now with triple rewards where you spend the most. So if it's gas stations and coffee shops one month and the next month, it's grocery stores, the gym, and department stores, Chase Freedom is the only credit card that adjusts as your everyday spending changes and gives you triple bonus rewards automatically. That's Chase Freedom. Get it free at chase.com slash freedom. Hey, you got some stuff. It's not stuff, Meredith. It's an Oreo dessert pizza mustache. Yeah, you get it whenever you eat Domino's new Oreo dessert pizza. Mine's just not as full. Give it time, Kevin. It'll fill out. You really think so? I think so. I know so. Domino's new warm and chocolatey Oreo dessert pizza. Just $3.99 with any purchase. Call or order online. Chicago Cubs baseball on WGN Sports from beautiful Wrigley Field is brought to you by Bud.TV, where entertainment is always on and only on www.bud.tv. Which of those buildings do you own again? Most of them. The Brindley Tower. Yeah. Downtown Chicago. Top of the order here for the Cubs. In the lower half of the fourth inning. A strikeout and a home run. For Soriano. He's now hit an eight straight. Soriano back in the second inning touched off his 30th home run of the season to the opposite field through the wind that's been blowing straight in from center field throughout this ball game. DeRosa with quite a uh, donut on that bat. One of the bigger ones you'll see. I think that's actually just a plate from the weight room, it looks like. Who was it? Frank Thomas used to swing a sledgehammer in the on deck circle. He's uh, used different things, and more often than not, it's a matter of luck or perceived luck. What do you think he would fare if he had to leave that donut on the bat? Boy, foul balls would be dangerous. No idea where they're going if it hits that plate. And Alfonso draws the walk. Mr. Three true outcomes today. Strikeout, home run, and a walk. The 23rd annual Cubs convention will take place at the Hilton Chicago on January 18th, 19th, and 20th, 2008. To reserve a room now for the Cubs convention weekend, call the Hilton Chicago at 312-922-4400. Weekend passes are $50 and a limited number will go on sale Wednesday, November 7th at 10 a.m. on Cubs.com. For more info, 773-404-CUBS or visit Cubs.com. We also want to uh, let people know that uh, plans are in the works. We are going to do the second annual Lennon Bob Bash Yay. at the House of Blues. It will be the night before the Cubs convention, so that'll be January 17th. Diving stop by Batista. They get one at second base, and that's it. Batista's made a couple of really good plays defensively in this series. So we're excited about it. And uh, more details to follow. We don't have. Uh, all the acts in place and everything. Um, we're waiting for Mick and Keith to call. And when when we know, you'll know. And uh, we're looking forward to it again. It was a great event. 
Uh, for Cubs charities is Derek Lee singles. He's three for three. Part of the proceeds last year went to Derek's project 3000. We couldn't do it without Jeff Schmidt from uh, Bud Light. WGN and the Cubs. And uh, so more details to follow. So uh, keep your eyes and ears open. We'll have more to, to come. Well, needless to say, partner, I need to know what the playlist is going to be for the Lennon Bob band so I can start practicing right now. It may take from now until January. Especially if you want me to learn a new chord. It took me a long time to learn the three I know now. Well, you did a wonderful job and I'm looking forward to another great year. Ramirez back up the middle. He hit that hard. And Sanchez with the play, and he gets Ramirez. So Sanchez making up for a couple of errors in the series with a dandy of a play. Well, what really made this play, as we'll get a look at it from our Southwest Robo Cam, is the way Sanchez turned to the inside and threw back to first base. And really against his whole body momentum turning to his right. That's just an all arm throw onto Phelps at first base just in time to get Ramirez. RBI opportunity for Matt Merton. in a hitter's count. Gary Hayner from Los Angeles celebrating his 60th birthday at Wrigley Field today. Why go to Dodger Stadium when you come to Wrigley Field? The big 6-0. Oh. 20 years from today, John Roby will be celebrating his 60th. He's 40 today. <laughs> And the bases are full of Cubs. Second walk of the inning. Well, there is a Cardinal fan here. St. Louis officially eliminated. The Reds, the Astros, the Pirates are all out. Only two teams that can win the division: the Cubs and Milwaukee. That's it. That would make a good song title. The Cards are officially eliminated. I guess there were a lot of Cup fans in Atlanta rooting for the Braves last night. Some tight divisions. Cubs with a game and a half lead. Same in the East right now. Same in the West. Same in the wild card. In the American League, the Red Sox leading the Yankees by two and a half. Cleveland a very good shape. Seven and a half up on Detroit. The Angels magic numbers one in the West so they've clinched a tie and can win it outright or a win later Solomon Torres up in the Pirates bullpen just rejoined the team after the birth of his third child They get bad here in the ball game for Giovanni Soto. Back in the third inning, he struck out. Zach Duke got him on three consecutive changeups. See how they attack him this time around with the bases loaded. Starts him with a big curveball in the dirt. Good take. Strike one and one. Oh, a high change up that time. Outside corner up about belt high. Well, there's the mentor. Protege right now is at the plate. Henry Blanco has advised Soto really since before the season. I said, what, what did you tell him? What was the main thing? He said, just to work hard. He said, not that he didn't work hard and that he was overweight. I just thought that if he could work a little harder. And be a little bit more mobile behind the plate that would really help him and you've seen the results. 
talk some things about uh, the nuances of catching. And, uh, Henry's been uh, his biggest supporter. It's possible if the Cubs win the division that Soto may knock Henry off the postseason roster, but Henry's all about the team. Soto getting his third straight start. A one two pitch. Bounced to Sanchez. That's an easy play, and that's the inning. Cubs get a hit, two walks, leave them loaded. We go to the fifth from Wrigley Field. Cubs five, Pirates three. I got an idea. Hi, I'm Keith Hernandez. And I'm Walt Clyde Frazier. What a marvelous night for the action. Let's go to the play-by-play. -play. Oh, there's Mr. Graybeard approaching Miss Hottie. Oh, no. Rejected. Clyde, that's got to hurt. Yeah, no play for Mr. Gray. Get that man our just a man brush in color gel. It's specially formulated to penetrate coarse facial hair and gets rid of gray in five easy minutes. Another win with Just For Men. You can never have too many people on your side. Right there when you need them most. And now, two names committed to improving senior health are there for you, too. Introducing AARP Medicare Complete, provided through Secure Horizons, the only Medicare Advantage plan with the AARP name on it. AARP and Secure Horizons are committed to seniors and all Medicare beneficiaries, and we'd like to send you a free educational guide, Medicare Advantage Explained. To get yours, call today. Together, we can help you get more from your Medicare benefits. I've known Secure Horizons by United Healthcare for years. Medicare health plans are their specialty. And now with AARP, I'm expecting even better things to come. I'll be at your side. There's no need to worry. AARP Medicare Complete, provided through Secure Horizons. Call now for your free guide. Beautiful day on the north side and out on the lake. And the Cubs lead the Pirates 5 to 3, second to last or the penultimate home game of the regular season. You know, two big words, and that's one of them. <laughs> Second to last. You can just drop in penultimate. Former Cubs Cesar is tourist pinch hitting for Zach Duke. Duke's line, four innings, nine hits, five runs, four were earned. He walked three, struck out four, and gave up a career high three home runs. So the Pirates' left handed starters have not done well in this series. Paul Mahalam went two plus yesterday, 10 hits, seven runs, six earned. Mark DeRosa will throw out his former double play partner. Well, as you go into a possible postseason, everybody talks about your strengths and certainly your weaknesses. And one of the big weaknesses was the Cubs' inability to beat left handed starters. That has changed. And don't think uh, notes haven't been made of that down there behind home plate. The scouts that have been in attendance recently, and we'll see even more and more scouts as we get closer to the end of the season and a possible playoff run. Every pitch, every nuance, every swing will be charted and recharted and entered into computers and analyzed. And if you have a weakness, it will be discovered and it will be exploited. So it's good to see the Cubs starting to turn those numbers around against the left-handed starting pitching. 
A completely different field the second time through the order for Rich Hill. The first time through, he gave up five hits, a walk, and three runs. The second time through, nothing, not even a base runner. Third time through starts with a walk to Morgan. Well, and that's good to see for Rich Hill. There were some outings earlier this season where if he would have had anything like he had in the top of the second, uh, he probably would have been out of the ball game by now. He just couldn't seem to stop the bleeding once the other team started to get base runners on. And paid a lot of attention to those base runners. We talked about it through the middle of the season, trying to improve his move to first base to try to hold those runners a little better. But when it started to go bad, it usually continued to go bad. But he was able to right the ship pretty well today. He's making his 31st start. Morgan got a great jump swing and a miss. I think the bat came back on the backswing from Batista and caught Soto. Well, there's a joke among catchers when a guy gets this big a jump at first base, just throw to third and hold him to one base. Well, you can see Soto took that bat just off the edge of the mask there. Morgan had such a big jump over there at first base went on first movement from our Southwest Robo cam you can see he was already going into his slide about the time Soto would have been releasing the ball towards second so the joke is throw to third to make sure you hold him to one base Morgan needs a second the Cubs have had four starters who've made at least 30 starts this year. By comparison, last year, the Cubs had one starter make at least 30. Morgan's going to try to steal third, and it's popped up. Derek Lee over near the Pirates' dugout, and he has room this time as well. Morgan this time gets back to his base. Two outs in the inning. Well, there have been three very nice catches in foul territory, two by Lee, the other by Soto. Batista should be retired for swinging at that pitch. Morgan had such a big jump at second base, he was going to steal third base standing up. Good decoy right there by Aramis. Derek Lee caught that foul ball. Took a quick look at second, but Morgan was able to recover and get back to the bag. But Carlos made 33 starts last year. Next in line, Sean Marshall with 24, Greg Maddox with 22, and then Rich Hill was 16. Tells you a lot about the durability of the top four in the Cubs rotation this season. Sanchez went after the high heat. Ted Lilly with maybe his most impressive performance as a Cub as he chats with Cubs special assistant Evanda Jesus. That was on Wednesday night. DeRosa with a great play. Ball is scorched by Sanchez on one bounce. DeRosa able to get it, saved a run. Still 5 3. I'm on the 415. Let's see what kind of plane you'll be on today. Step over there and spin that wheel. Come on. Come on, big plane. Woo, big plane, big plane, big plane. Big plane, big plane, big plane, big plane. Small plane. On Southwest Airlines, you'll never fly in a small plane. We guarantee every seat on every flight is on a big, comfortable Boeing 737. You are now free to move about the country. <laughs> mm, that Alfredo really hit the spot. He just said that about the meat sauce. Different dish, different spot. Oh. Olive Garden's never-ending pasta bowl with new sausage and peppers marinara. Pick any sauce and pasta combination, then another. Just $8.95. Have all you want. You're so excited. You're very excited. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> says, you guys should be in that commercial. <laughs> we were already a walking eHarmony commercial. We tell everybody we know. I actually wrote in to eHarmony. We actually kind of joke because we'll find ourselves talking about the same things they say on the commercials. So. And also yeah. it's fun just talking about our story and sharing it again with somebody yeah. else. We are. We're absolutely real. We are real. <laughs> Met on eHarmony. Yep. So many people have found the one they were looking for on eHarmony. Log on today and review your matches for free. Life with diabetes, it's about staying ahead. That's 
why my new meter is contour. It has no coating for fewer steps, which means... No that... slowing down. <laughs> so life is pretty good. Let's go. Life with diabetes, it's about going for it. That's why my new contour has all the stuff I need to get it done right in just five seconds. The new contour meter from Bear is the most complete meter yet. It has all the features you need in just five seconds. So... Getting more just got easier. Make your new meter the contour meter from Bear. That's easy accuracy. Answered by Bear. Superstation WGN is your home for big league baseball. So come on home. Now today's Honda Civic game summary. Derek Lee with his 19th home run. Three batters in in the bottom of the first. Cubs taking an early lead. Alfonso Soriano solo shot in the second inning. I've tied the game at 3-3. And Aramis Ramirez for the third time in the first two days of this series with a home run to give the Cubs an advantage. That was in the third inning. RBIs 99 and 100. Today's Honda Civic game summary. Get performance and save gas. Test drive a new Civic at your Honda dealer today. New pitcher for the Pirates is right-hander Solomon Torres. The pinch hitter. For the Cubs is Jock Jones. He bats for Craig Monroe and likely will stay in and play center. 5 3 for the Northsiders. <laughs> Torres's wife, Belkis, gave birth this week to their third child, a boy named Jordan. Torres. At one time was a Pirates closer. Lost that role in early June before he went on the DL with an elbow injury. He's run it full on Jones. Terrio next. Jones with three hits and three RBIs in the homestand. Ball got out of the uh, pirate pin. Pop foul. Strike three, the emphatic call by Tom Hallian. Tom Hallian, the favorite umpire of the American Chiropractic Association. Good way to crack your lower back right there from our Southwest RoboCam. A change up for a called strike. We see you. Adding of the railing in front of the Cubs dugout. White Sox are hammering the Twins in the Metrodome today, eight to two. Being delayed in the Bronx, Blue Jays and Yankees. Only games going on right now. Carlos Marmol up in the bullpen. Game in Minnesota is in the bottom of the seventh. For the hole and through on the left side. Fielded by Nady. Terrio starting to heat up again. Multi hit games now in his last three. Cliff Floyd will bat for Rich Hill. He can't qualify for the win. He went five today. The minimum requirement for a starter to get a victory. Not something he's done a whole lot in his career. Coming off the bench and pinch hitting. Right. 
Can you think of a a guy who was basically a, an everyday player for 10 12 years and then became an excellent pinch hitter because usually the guys you think about in that role are almost always lifelong part time players. I mean they'll occasionally have a season or two where they'll play every day but it's it's rare isn't it to uh, I think the only one that jumps to mind uh, might be Julio Franco but it's just because he, you know, he's played 60 years in the major leagues you know and at some point uh, you reach that stage of your career where you become more of a role player but Franco uh, became a very good pinch hitter late in his career after being a great starter for most of his career. You know, the, the Lenny Harris's and Mark Sweeney's. I'm sure Lenny will appreciate a couple of references today. Uh, the Orlando Palmeros. Guys who have been, you know, full time players for a decade and then right at the end became pinch hitters. Dave Hansen. My former partner, Tommy Hutton. He's a very good pinch hitter. It's not for everyone, is it? Boy, it sure isn't. It takes a special skill set to be a good pinch hitter. We talk about it all the time, especially those guys who get the key at bats late in games. Yeah, that's really something uh, you have to prepare yourself for mentally more than anything else. The ability to come off the bench cold, having not seen any live pitching for a while, and suddenly step into that batter's box facing the nastiest closer on the other team, and. Uh, your skipper expects you to go up there and put together a good at bat and make something happen. And the guys that are good at it are very, very valuable and will always have a place in this game. Manny Moda. 20 years in the big leagues, and the most games Manny ever appeared in 124. In 1970, right in the middle of his career, Daryl Ward has been tremendous off the bench. Very patient hitter. But he's never had a prolonged stretch of being an everyday player. Over the course of, you know, five, six, seven years. John Van Benscoten can barely fit his name on the back of his jersey. John Van Ben Scoten has three first names. John Van and Ben. I like it. Called strike three. Clip didn't like it. Inside. Tail on it at the very end. I think Cliff thought that ball was inside when it went past the front of home plate. Just has a quick word or two for Tom Hallion. Torres uh, kind of fell off the mound there awkwardly after he completed that. Delivery and see him wincing. He's fallen off the mound a couple of times uh, in his brief stint here this inning. Terrio runs. Soriano took it all away for a called strike and safe at second is Ryan Terrio with his 28th stolen base. Good jump. Good speed, great slide at the end of this play. We talked about it last week, that pop-up slide for the runners. Extend that front foot out there toward the bag at second. And as soon as the foot hits the base, pop up out of your slide. Good quick tag by Sanchez, but not in time to get Terrio.
Krebs went into the final month without a 20 homer player. He might have a couple with 30 by year's end. Soriano's done it again. Oh, Two today. 7-3. Unbelievable. Eight home runs in the first two games for the Cubs. Ramirez has three of them. So does Soriano. Fans may want him to come back out, but the Pirates pitching staff doesn't want to see him again the rest of this series. He is just taking batting practice against these guys. Two strikes on DeRosa. Right, nobody can stop Soriano and Ramirez. Two today, and that did not include a leadoff home run. He struck out in the first inning. Making up for lost time. Boy, this is one of those thin winds blowing in today. It hasn't really affected any of the hard hit balls to the outfield. I mean, yesterday we anticipated a lot of runs being scored and possibly some long balls because the wind was howling straight out, but blowing straight in today, and the Cubs just cutting that wind. Nineteenth multi homer performance for Soriano, the last of which came on the sixth of this month against the Dodgers. Two two is fouled away. And nothing cheap at all about this. And fastball knee high over the middle of the plate. He knew it right away. That ball was way back into the bleachers in left center field and. A curtain call for Soriano. Swing and a miss. 12 home runs in September for Soriano, tying Matt Holliday for the Major League lead. Cubs now lead by four after five. It's the ultimate. Where are they now? I'm working on my own reality show. So we had a beautiful baby boy. American Idol Rewind. Sunday at 8 Eastern on Superstation WGN. And now, here are today's midday winning lottery numbers. What makes the world's perfect beer? Start with the choicest hops and the best barley malt. Then, Beechwood age it for that crisp, clean taste. Finally, throw in a football and 60,000 friends. The taste that makes it game day. The perfect balance of flavor and refreshment. Budweiser. Open up a world of taste. Wayne! I want to come with you! No. I'm a loner. An island. And I only fly solo. <clears throat> Except for my network. Because I like to check my emails and watch ACDC videos and sometimes get GPS directions if I get lost. Will I ever see you again? I'll send you a picture message. America's most reliable wireless network for calls is the network you should rely on for everything. Verizon Wireless. It's the network. I'm thinking of a number. Do you know what it is? It's 20 million. That's how many people have already checked their free Experian credit report at freecreditreport.com for some very good reasons. Now we can monitor all three of our national credit reports every day. It helps us save money and check for potential identity theft. I got my credit report and credit score online in seconds. Isn't it time to get your free credit report and score? Well, log on now to freecreditreport.com. Offer applies with the rolling triple advantage. Salam treatment. And chanting Soriano. And he's done it on this homestand with his home run bat. 
and a golden arm and left. A huge throw in that Cincinnati series. Swing and a miss as we start the sixth. Carlos Marmel pitching. Jock Jones is playing center. And Josh Phelps is at the plate. Stellar numbers for the hard throwing righty. Phelps playing first base today. A slider pulled outside. The slider just missed the outside corner. It's now three and one. And Phelps. Improvising in the sunscreen. <laughs> and it just feels good. Crushed foul. Alfonso Soriano with his second home run of the ball game. Knew it right away, as did the fans sitting behind that third base dugout. Our Southwest, how far did it fly? 388 feet through the wind into the left field bleachers. You think a little bit about as uh, Phelps walks. Soriano and Ramirez will be uh, battling for the uh, National League Player of the Month. Going to be tough to top Matt Holliday, who has 12 home runs and 26 RBIs already. Soriano with 12 home runs here in September and 20 RBIs so he could still catch him Soriano doesn't know where it is he has no idea where it is and fortunately it lands foul out of play a couple of his teammates were rushing to his aid Ryan Terrio and Jock Jones both saw Soriano giving that universal sign for I don't know where it is and they both came sprinting over there to left field just in case that ball did land fair. You see Terrio coming into your picture there. Jock Jones was streaking over from center field. Ramirez also has 20 RBIs this month to go along with his eight home runs. So the Cubs have a couple of guys who basically have averaged an RBI per game in September. Swing and a miss by Mady. And the count is one and two. High fly ball. Soriano sees this one. Chuck Jones came flying over from center just in case. One out. Hey, we got a nice note from our friend Gary Crawford, the COO of NegroLeagueLegends.org. There's a great event coming up Monday morning at William H. Chaz Mayo Elementary School at 37th and Prairie. Several former Negro League baseball players will be honored and inducted into Chicago's first and only Negro League Legends Baseball Museum and Learning Center. Sox broadcaster Darren Jackson will be on hand to MC the event. Not open to the public, but you can catch it Monday morning on WGN's morning news locally and they'll be uh, doing live cut ins throughout the morning and for more information on the museum if you'd like to check it out go to Negro League Legends dot org back on a play off the bat of Ronnie Paulino and those foul pops for the uh, catchers start getting a little bit more difficult with that sun. Well, when Marmel has missed this inning he's missed away. And he's faced all righties. Fastball that time. Got him as 
as he vacated Paulino out on strikes. Paulino steps in the bucket anyway but this one buckled his knees made him move both his feet out of the way and the ball just dropped right over the inside corner for strike three. Steve Pierce. Strike one. Big minor league season 31 homers in the minors 113 RBIs. 303 total bases among the leaders. And all of the minors came up on September 1st. Triple A Indianapolis at 320 there in 34 games. Scott Air up. Another call third. That ends the inning. Tom Hallion getting a nice workout back of the plate here today. It's seven three Cubs as they bat in the bottom of the sixth. Chicago Cubs baseball is brought to you by Pepsi. Your world, your Pepsi. You're messing with the wrong guy. We're up to a million hits. Sweet. Who is it? Chuck Norris. Yeah, right. Yeah, well, it's a pretty good job, isn't it, when you think about it? I mean, basically, I help people save money, don't I? Like, I tell people they can save hundreds by switching to GEICO. They go to GEICO.com, maybe save all this money on car insurance, and the next thing you know, I'm, like, invited to their wedding or whatever. One bloke actually asked me to be his best man. Dear, oh, dear. Anyway, look, don't matter. Look, point is, if you want loads of friends, giving away money, it's not a bad idea. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Hey, you got some stuff. That's not stuff, Meredith. It's an Oreo dessert pizza mustache. Yeah, you get it whenever you eat Domino's new Oreo dessert pizza. Mine's just not as full. Give it time, Kevin. It'll fill out. You really think so? I think so. I know so. Domino's new warm and chocolatey Oreo dessert pizza. Just $3.99 with any purchase. Call or order online. She's America's favorite teen queen, Lizzie McGuire. Sunday at 11, only on Superstation WGN. While we have a moment, let's step aside and see what's coming up on WGN. Right along with the Reno Sheriff's Department as they bring their unique style of law enforcement to Superstation WGN. Reno 911, tonight at 11.30 on Superstation WGN. Some changes for the Pirates. The most noteworthy being on the mound. John Van Benscoten taking over. Derek Lee is three for three. Xavier Nady moves to right. Nate McClouth now playing left. So Nady goes from left to right. McClouth in. And Derek Lee is four out of four. A home run and three singles. Big month of September for Lee. Just an absolutely picture perfect swing by Derek Lee driving this breaking ball right back up the middle of the field where it came from. Derek is now 31 for 81 this month. Rough time for Van Benscoten. Without a win, six losses and a very high ERA, and that pitch didn't count. So Lee's hitting 383 in September, so he, he'll get votes for the player of the month.
And Ben Scoten was the eighth overall pick in the 2001 draft out of Kent State. He was born in San Diego. Ramirez on a 2 0 pops it up behind second base. And it's caught by Freddy Sanchez, and they double off Derek Lee. So Derek with a base running mistake. The Pirates look like they may not catch that ball. Sanchez was able to position himself right at the very end to get it, and he nabbed Lee. Hey, you wonder how much of this was really battling the sun and how much of it was a setup by Freddie Sanchez to try to lure Derek Lee further off that bag at first. Hey, Derek Lee's familiar with the sun here at Wrigley with the wind blowing in. He took a couple of extra steps and then a couple more steps closer to second base. Merton flies out to left center. Morgan with the catch. And we have put six in the books. It's seven to three Cubs. Ted Danson is the doctor who specializes in sarcasm. Becker, late nights on Superstation WGA. Don't touch my Bud Light. Yeah, right. Refreshingly smooth Bud Light. Always worth it. Nice work, boys. Introducing the Chase Freedom Credit Card. Now with triple rewards where you spend the most. So if it's gas stations and coffee shops one month, and the next month, it's grocery stores, the gym, and department stores. Chase Freedom is the only credit card that adjusts as your everyday spending changes and gives you triple bonus rewards automatically. That's Chase Freedom. Get it free at chase.com slash freedom. Introducing the first smartphone that really rocks. The new Moto Q Music from Verizon Wireless. Organize your life and give it a soundtrack. Because smartphones rock harder on America's most reliable wireless network, Verizon Wireless. Picture perfect day at Wrigley Field. Cubs will wrap up the home schedule tomorrow. Sam Fold is in to play right field, and he'll hit ninth. And the new pitcher. Batting fifth is Scott Ayer. And he'll face switch hitting Matt Cato to start the seventh with the Cubs up by four. Seven to three. Well, he has a new glove, and you might be able to see it. You can flip your TV around. It says Stevie Iyer, <laughs> <laughs> which is what his manager occasionally calls him. S T E V I E, last name I R E. Well, that guy said Scott Ayer had a, a bad first half, but Stevie Iyer has had a good second half. Golf tie in the air. And it'll be fold and right to make the catch. Well, Scott or Steve, however you choose to refer to him, has had a real good second half of the season. He really found it. In the month of August, ERA under two and has gotten some huge outs back to getting left handers out with regularity. And much like the resurgence of the offense with the long ball here late in the season, for Scott Ayer, couldn't have come at a better time. And for those, those of you keeping score at home, I believe those changes were straight up, not a double switch. Fold in for Merton. And Ayer. 
in the ninth spot. I think that's the indication from Tom Hallion. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Tom Hallion said the strangers there the changes were straight up, so I changed my book. And the strangers <laughs> maybe straight up. McClouth with his first at bat, he fouls it back. Two outs away, the winner. There's the uh, trophy, the Harry Carey statue. Seventh inning stretch winner for 2007, Dustin Egglesseeder, Guttenberg, Iowa. He's ready. Jay Blunt, director of marketing and sales, Katie Marta, did a wonderful job. The entire Cubs marketing staff putting the competition together. You think Dustin's nervous? Nah, he's ready for this. He's been waiting his whole life for this. He's going to ace it. I know it. Two to the count on McClough. The biggest swing of the day for the Pirates came from their pitcher, Zach Duke, a two run double in the second inning. They scored all three of their runs. Four consecutive hits in that inning against Rich Hill. Rich has a chance for a win today. It would be his tenth. He went five and gave up three. Well, I tell you what, Lynn. You look at the numbers and you're not overly impressed. But I was very impressed, and I said it earlier, how Rich Hill was able to right the ship. He had a real bad inning in the second. Gave up four consecutive base hits to allow the Pirates to score three runs, but then got right back on track. Came out in the third, fourth. And retired the Pirates in order. And at times in Rich's last start, Monday against the Cincinnati Reds, he dominated. Seven strikeouts, just one walk, but kind of hit a wall in the fifth inning of that start. A full count. On McClough. Here's next pitch. A little bit off the corner. And it brings up Morgan, the leadoff man. He has reached twice. Infield bunt single and a walk. Starts to pace usually around the seventh. A drive deep to right, sending fold back. He's at the warning track. He's going to leap and he catches it. He did. He pulled it out of the ivy. Brenda Ferris. They got a double play. Oh, what a play! Dustin can't believe it. Today's guest. It's time to sing. The ultimate seventh inning stretch winner, Dustin Eggleseeder. All right, Cup fans, let's do this for Harry. Let me hear ya. A one, a two, a three. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some beer.
never-ending pasta bowl is going on. Oh, you didn't know? No, no, I had no idea. <laughs> Olive Garden's never-ending pasta bowl with new smoked mozzarella Alfredo. Pick any sauce and pasta combination, then another. Just $8.95. Have all you want. Can you say catch of the year? Oh, Double play man. of the year? Sam Fold. Wow. A great opening band to uh, Dustin Eggleseeder. <laughs> you know what? That actually worked out pretty well, Dustin. I, you, you, congratulations, first of all, the, uh, the, the winner of the ultimate seventh inning stretch competition. Thank you very much. One of 2,700 fans to jump into this competition I don't know how nervous you were you did an unbelievable job but if you were nervous I think that catch just kind of made you forget about <laughs> exactly. it exactly right? oh I mean the crowd was pumped up it was it was easy to do anything bad right there <laughs> or hard to do anything bad right there so well congratulations when you got into this competition did you have any idea that you'd be sitting here with this great Harry Carey trophy and uh, the opportunity to conduct the seventh inning stretch. I hoped. I mean, that, that was obviously the goal. But I mean, I didn't know for sure if stuff would actually work out with uh, my treatments and stuff like that. But everything worked out perfect. I was able to make all the tryouts, and it was obviously worth it because I, you know, I won it. Well, it's a beautiful trophy too, Dustin. That, uh, I'm sure you'll find a place for that at home. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> now you were diagnosed with bone cancer in March of this year, correct? Correct. Uh, 22 years old. So I know it's been a very difficult uh, year for you. Mm -hmm. You've undergone uh, chemotherapy treatments at the uh, at University Hospitals in Iowa City. You're from Guttenberg, Iowa, right? Yep, Guttenberg. Yeah, we got letters. Uh, I think I mispronounced it earlier this year, and we had a lot of letters from Guttenberg. But I think uh, what I heard was the entire state of Iowa got behind you and got into the campaign yeah, that's to vote what, for you. That's what they said. They said there was a lot of votes coming through for me. So I, th I thank the fans, and I, I thank everyone. Um, you know that was back supporting me. I, really good. I also read that your grandfather, who made you a Cubs fan, as Jones bounces it into left, and unfortunately passed away the day after the first round of auditions. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Well, our condolences to, to you and your family. And Thank you. I brought a picture of him up with me with his Cubs hat on. You, so. you have it? Yeah. With, let's let's sure. check it out. Okay. A huge Cub fan, huh? Mm -hmm. So who's your favorite Cub? I'd have to go with Ryan Terrio. I, I love just the all-out play by him. He, you know, he never takes a day off. He's he's always giving it his all, and that's that's kind of what I like about him. Now I didn't know the answer, but we happen to ask that question: Is the riots at the plate good timing? <laughs> Daryl Ward on deck. Runner at first. We're in the bottom of the seventh. Dustin Eggleseeder. I think I pronounced your name wrong a couple weeks ago. I apologize. <laughs> right center field and a base hit. Number three for Terrio. Got to go back and check out the catch. Well, that ball was absolutely scalded off the bat of Morgan. Like it was headed for at least extra bases. Sam Fold with no fear of the bricks out there goes crashing into the wall. Keeps his uh, wits about him. Fires back into first base where Derek Lee was waiting on that one hop throw. What a tremendous inning ending double play. <laughs> Scott Air <Ayer> loved it. <laughs> I was watching Scott and he had this look as he was watching Sam Fold. He had his arms over his head going, please, please. Oh. 
And nobody was more excited than you, Dustin. That's correct. You were going crazy up here <laughs> in the booth. All right, so you, Jay Blunk announces that you're the winner as Daryl Ward pinch hits for air. It's the first thing that went through your mind. I, th I think the first thing was making sure that I think the first thing I did was go over and uh, hug all the rest of the contestants because you know each all nine of them deserved it just as much as I did and it's it's really been fun you know and I, I got to know you know nine other people and um, I just I felt like that's the first thing I need to do is you know thank them and uh, congratulate them for everything that they did so well it wasn't required that you hit all the notes but uh, you're a mem member of the chorus and the chamber choir, correct? So yes. you've done this before. Yeah, not not quite this many people, but I, I've <laughs> sang before. So how about the audition, Dustin? Uh, here at Wrigley Field, uh, Billy Williams was here, and Digger Phelps and Dutchie Carey. That had to be a little nerve-wracking too. I was actually way more nervous, actually, you know, trying out than I was singing it right there. And why did you enter the competition? I mean, wh what? When you heard about it, well, I, I felt like, you know, the, the Cubs have done a lot for me this summer, and I felt it was a way to actually repay them. Um, you know, I, I really, the, the summer wouldn't have been the same without, without watching the Cubs, and I felt like if I made this, I would, you know, I would do it for them, and, um, and so, you know, that, that's really the biggest thing was um, getting on and singing it for them. Well, you did an unbelievable job. The pacing is always something we talk about. Yeah. And you just, I mean, tens across the board. <laughs> I mean, really. Thank you. Three and two the count. Cubs leading 7-3, two on. How do you like the view from the booth? <laughs> this is awesome. And I was... I always wonder if you guys can tell how far it's hit, but you can tell when it's when it's hit hard. <laughs> the kick and the pitch to Ward called strike three. All right, I'm going to let you do the play-by-play -play here, Dustin. And the winner of the first ever ultimate seventh inning stretch competition is Dustin Eggleseeder. <laughs> Congratulations, Dustin. I was pretty much blacked out right there. I, <laughs> my heart was beating too fast. Now that's my mom. Okay. Oh, what an emotional day. Mm -hmm. And, and to be able to do it on such a huge day, the Cubs right. were a game and a half lead. Yep. It, everything's been working out just perfect. I, the, the score, everything's perfect. Soriano hooks that ball. Fair. Yes. Jones is in. Terrio will also score. Nine to three. For Soriano. What a day. The superstars have really turned it up a notch in September. Breaking ball, middle of the plate, down. Soriano loves that low ball. Goes down and golfs it into that left field corner. Well, I love to watch those extra base hits with two outs in the inning and watch the base runners. Ryan Terrio got such a great jump. He scored easily from first base on that double down in the left field corner. Back Starosa away a little bit. All right, Dustin, two outs in the inning. I'm just going to give you the stage here. Is there anybody you want to thank in particular? A shout out to somebody back home in Guttenberg? Yeah, I would like to, uh, you know, every, everyone from Guttenberg, I know they, you know, did, did a lot for uh, promoting my votes. And this and, will be uh, caught. I'll tell you what, hang with us. We'll okay. let you think about it. Okay. And, uh, well, thank some more people when you come back in the eighth inning as Soriano makes it 9 3 Cubs after seven.
Just because I'm a foster kid doesn't mean I'm a lost cause. I have the potential for greatness. Some people have an attitude about me because my parents have problems. Give me a chance. Do something to help me make it. Make foster care better. Don't write me off. Foster kids are our kids. What are you doing? Should we pick him up? He has Bud Light. He has an axe. But he has Bud Light. And an axe. I'm sure there's a reason for it. Hey, buddy. What's with the axe? It's a bottle opener. Hop in. Refreshingly smooth Bud Light. Always worth it. Look, here's Bud Light. And a chainsaw. That's cold. Single again. Will I still look eligible with gray hair? Is that all people will see? How do you make a clean break? Just for Men stops gray from hiding who you are. Easy with five minute target gray technology. Dating again is easier than I thought. And you wonder, why did I ever put up with gray hair? Let the real you come through. Stay in the game with Just for Men. Do you know your credit score? Do you know what's in your credit report? You can find out for free right now at FreeCreditReport.com. Knowing my credit score helped me save money on my home loan. Now we can monitor all three of our national credit reports every day. It helps us save money and check for potential identity theft. Just a few clicks and I get my credit report and credit score free. Log on now to FreeCreditReport.com. Offer applies with the Roman Triple Advantage. It's a shame for it. You're out at the old ball game. Let's get some more run. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like me in a home run call. <laughs> First time at Wrigley Field. Welcome. We're with Dustin Eggleseeder, the winner of the inaugural ultimate seventh inning stretch competition. Bob Howery working in the eighth. The Cubs leading the Pirates. Nine to three, and uh, all right, Dustin. Um, yeah, but like I was saying, uh, everyone from Guttenberg and um, everyone from Cedar Rapids, that's where I work. Um, I work at a telemarketing firm, and everyone there has been a, doing a great job of getting the votes. You'll be out of play. And, uh, you know, obviously, my friends and family, too, more than anything. Um, I know a lot of my friends, you know, just. Sent, the, sent emails to everyone they knew, and they emailed everyone they knew, and the word really got around. I really appreciate every, everything that everyone's done. It's been great. Well, please do us a favor and uh, stay in touch with us. We want to hear how you're doing, and uh, we'll do. I know it's been uh, it's been a roller coaster for you uh, this summer uh, on a personal level, and certainly watching the Cubs mm -hmm. has been a roller coaster as well. And that ball's hit very deep to center. Jock Jones retreating on it going to be over his head and it gets lost in the vines and he just puts his hands up which is what you're supposed to do and that'll keep Batista at second base with a double so maybe in the next couple of years that ball will find its way out of the ivy Ball smoke to straightaway center. Fastball up and out over the plate from our Southwest Robo Cam. You'll see the Vines eat another baseball. That's exactly what you're supposed to do as an outfielder. Visiting teams come in here. You warn your outfielders about those Vines, but sometimes they can't resist reaching in there and trying to pull it out. Sanchez hits that ball past Derek Lee. And Batista's going to score. It gets past Fold as well. It's going to allow Sanchez to get all the way to third base. And it's now nine to four. It'll either be a triple or a double and an error. But Dustin, thanks again so much. Uh, congratulations. Uh, you aced it. Thank you. Uh, that's really all I can say. <laughs> I mean, uh, you absolutely nailed it. You were very comfortable up here, and uh, you did the Cubs proud today, and Cub fans everywhere. Yeah, yeah great very representative proud. of Cub fans all over the world. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Yep, thank you. Thanks. Dustin luck, Eggleseeder from Guttenberg, Iowa.
fouled away by Phelps. Oh, what a great story, Bob. And uh, by the way, uh, we understand Good Morning America is going to fly into New York. Where he'll appear on their national show uh, tomorrow morning. So he's not done yet with the spotlight, and I was thoroughly impressed. Picked a great winner. They really did. Very composed. Stood up here in front of over 41,000 people and absolutely nailed it. Sanchez was credited with a three base hit. Tip strikeout. Big one for Howry. Not out of the woods, only one out. And it's Xavier Nady. Knocked in three yesterday, but is 0 for 3. And yeah, thanks a million times three. 41,271 today, and the Cubs setting a new single season attendance mark. 3,211,098 with one more to go tomorrow. Nice going, fans, as Howry can't locate the ball. Finally, he does, and he gets Nady with Sanchez not taking any chances at third with his team down five. That's a scary feeling for a pitcher for any player for that matter. You know that ball is somewhere in the vicinity but you're not sure where. Bob Howie picked it up with the glove threw on to first for the out and as you said Sanchez had no choice but to hold his ground over there at third base the ball's laying right at Bob Howie's feet goes on to first for the out. Called strike on Paulino. Pitch inside. What a day at the ballpark. They just keep getting better, don't they? Something different every day. As we near the finish line. After today, just seven to go. The Cubs get closer and closer to the division championship. Not over yet. Jock Jones in center hauls it in. Howry gives up one, but keeps that second runner at third base. 9 4 to the bottom of the eighth. Chicago Cubs baseball is brought to you by Southwest Airlines. With more flights to more places than ever before, Southwest is taking low fares even farther. Visit Southwest.com. <laughs> That's why Southwest Airlines has eight daily nonstop flights from Chicago Midway to Philadelphia, so you can always catch a later flight. And you can count on us to get you there with our convenient nonstop flights and on-time service. You are now free to move about the country. Introducing the first smartphone that really rocks. The new Moto Q Music from Verizon Wireless. Organize your life and give it a soundtrack. Because smartphones rock harder on America's most reliable wireless network, Verizon Wireless. Hey, you got some stuff. It's not stuff, Meredith. It's an Oreo dessert pizza mustache. Yeah, you get it whenever you eat Domino's new Oreo dessert pizza. Mine's just not as full. Give it time, Kevin. It'll fill out. You really think so? I think so. I know so. Domino's new warm and chocolatey Oreo dessert pizza. Just $3.99 with any purchase. Call or order online. Ted Danson is the doctor who specializes in sarcasm. Becker, late nights on Superstation WGN. Uh. 
Time now for our Bud Light fan cam. Big Cubs fan Eddie Vedder covering a Tom Petty classic. tune I won't back down Eddie Vedder and Pearl Jam pretty fitting song for them final week coming up of a big divisional race it's from the uh, Pearl Jam 2003 North American tour Our Bud Light fan cam always worth it Derek Lee looking for his fifth hit Alfonso Soriano tying a season high with five RBIs two home runs and a double 10 total bases for Soriano. He's up to 297. Derek Lee has gone from 313 to 318 with his 4 for 4. with five four hit games this year. And Ben Scope with a 3 2. Oh, got him. And Ben Scope puts Lee down on strikes. I don't believe it. Which is low. Paulino pushed it even lower. Don't see that kind of reaction from Derek Lee very often. And in my eyes, it was justified there. Bad pitch. Yesterday, Lou Pinella picked up his 1600th career win as a manager, passed Tommy Lasorda into 16th in the all time wins list. And to win today, he would draw to within one of Fred Clark for 15th. And a 2 1 awkward cut by Rami. 2 and 2, Sam Fold on deck. I don't know what more he can do. He's barely been in the game, but made one of the best catches we've ever seen in this ballpark. Really banged hard into the wall. Well, and it short circuited what could have been a big rally for the Pirates. They were coming up to the middle of their batting order they would have had a couple runners on base only one out in the inning and Sam Fold turned it into a double play to get out of the inning swing and a miss for the second straight punch out for Van Ben Scoten. let's take a look at our final Cubs and Sox high definition broadcasts sponsored by Comcast our final home telecast of the season on WGN Sports tomorrow against the Pirates Beginning with our push for the playoff special at 12:30, Dan Roan will be on hand. Next Wednesday, Sox hosting KC at seven on WCIU Channel 26, and then the final Sox broadcast next Sunday at home against Detroit at one o'clock on WGN Sports. And a huge hand for Sam Fold. Made a great play on defense. The handle on the bat. Also, a programming note next Saturday, a week from today, we will be broadcasting the Cubs at the Cincinnati Reds.
first pitch will be at 2.55 Central Time. And we will be on the air at 2.30. So make sure you join us here on WGN Sports Cubs and the Reds next Saturday. They did change that time. It's our 60th year of bringing you Cubs baseball here on WGN Sports. And maybe, just maybe, it will be the first NL pennant winning season on WGN Sports. Fans on their feet for a 3 2 pitch are eternally grateful and thankful for the fans' remarkable support for this franchise. And our goal remains to properly reward their support and unwavering passion. Four straight years, the Cubs have reached. Getting ready for another non save appearance. We saw him yesterday with a, a solo home run to Xavier Nady, but the Cubs won 13 to 8. Where did that ball land? I heard it, I didn't see it. Yeah, I think it hit the facing of the roof and dropped down Watch just it. out of the reach of the people in the upper deck. Soto lifts it into center. Morgan camped under it. Still coming in, way in now, and he has it. So we will go to the ninth. Cubs trying to close out the Pirates, leading 9-4. What would you do if there were two of you? You'd have twice as many clothes. Perfect. Have twice as much fun. Party. And get twice as many boyfriends. I got you a date with a college guy. <laughs> sister, sister, it's two times everything. Now five days a week. Weekdays at 5 on Superstation WGN. How did we get roped into this? Don't worry. Bad enough for both of us. Refreshingly smooth Bud Light. Always worth it. First time at the Opera Place? Tommy! Marco? Looking good. I thank you. Love the jacket. Do you? Yes. $90. What? Ooh. Nice shoes. 50 bucks. I'm proud of you. Love the hair. Oh, yeah, my cousin does it. 20 bucks. Very nice. Nice tie. Thanks for thinking my tie is nice. What'd you spend on that? 12 bucks. Double cheeseburger. One dollar. McDonald's melty, beefy double cheeseburger. I'll give you two bucks. Three. What, are you made of money? Just one of the extravagant choices on the dollar menu. Are you a dollar millionaire? So excited. We were very excited. <laughs> everybody <laughs> says, you guys should be in that commercial. <laughs> we were already a walking eHarmony commercial. We tell yeah. everybody we know. I actually rode in to eHarmony. We actually kind of joke because we'll find ourselves talking about the same things they say on the commercials. So. And also yeah. it's fun just talking about our story and sharing it again with somebody yeah. else. We are. We're absolutely real. We are real. <laughs> Met on eHarmony. Yep. So many people have found the one they were looking for on eHarmony. Log on today and review your matches for free. Music fans, the weather's still nice. Take advantage of it. The Beastie Boys are coming to the Charter One Pavilion on Northerly Island this Thursday night. Presented by LiveNation.com as part of the Bud Light Concert Series. For information and tickets, visit LiveNation.com or call Ticketmaster at 312-559-1212. Bud Light and live music, always worth it. Jose Castillo leads off the ninth inning against closer Ryan Dempster. The kick and the 0 1. They foul. Time Jose Castillo was 
The Pirates every day second baseman. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Well, we have a moment. Let's step aside and see what's coming up on WGN. Right along with the Reno Sheriff's Department as they bring their unique style of law enforcement to Superstation WGN. Reno 911 tonight at 11.30 on Superstation WGN. Matt Cada batting left-handed. This is the righty Dempster. Just trying to keep putting pressure on Milwaukee. They're going to have to win today to keep pace. Cubs can go up two in the division. Brewers will be at Atlanta coming up within the half hour. Gallardo and Smoltz. Tomorrow won't be easy because Tom Gorzolani has been really good for the Pirates, but the Cubs have their ace on the mound. Carlos Zambrano will be his final home start. Of the regular campaign, and he's looking for his first win here in a long, long time. Back in July, last time he won at home. One ball and two strikes. Kick in the pitch. A splitter in the dirt. Maybe a slider. You know, one thing that may work in the Cubs' advantage, Len, when they face Gorzolani tomorrow is the fact they've seen two lefties in the two ball games leading up to Gorzolani. They are uh, getting into the spirit with the Braves starting up here in a few minutes. Rainbow out of the shadow left. Soriano will grab it. And it's Nate McLeod with two outs. Double digit winner, it'd be Rich Hill. If he can get it. 16 for Zambrano, 15 for Lilly, 12 for Jason Marquis. And while Rich has been a tough luck pitcher as far as run support is concerned, they've given him a bunch today. Cubs 82nd victory guaranteeing a winning campaign. There's a deep drive to right. And Dempster has given up a couple of solo home runs this weekend. But again in non-save situations, nine to five. Well, you may wonder why is Ryan Dempster even in a Nine to four ball game now, nine to five with the solo home run by McLeod. But he hadn't pitched for five days, and you may remember he had the flu, was on the shelf for a couple of days. I think Lou just trying to get him back into a good rhythm out there on the mound, and he was in a good rhythm until that 3 1 pitch to McLeod. Well, McLeod is 13th. 
two shot foul two strikes. Mr. Chicago Joe Reels. Did a fantastic job of the Cubs marketing department. He's on his feet. Like the rest of this crowd. Oh two ground ball Derek Lee behind first. Dempster covering close play. They get him. Cubs win. They'll go for the sweep tomorrow in the final home game of the year. Nine five the final. And how about those home run bats? Well, I'll tell you what. The, the Cubs are starting to feel it. You can sense that down in the clubhouse before the game. You can sense it the way they go about their business before the ball game. And there's no doubt about it. Once that first pitch is thrown, these guys mean business right now. So Soriano with us down on the field five RBIs two home runs and uh, you jumped on that first pitch today didn't get it but you got two more later nice going yeah thank you man I think uh, I feel very comfortable at the home play right now and I think uh, the team played very well so I think uh, last seven game left we have to play like we played today well, Alfonso we've seen uh, the home run ball show up here in the month of September we talk all the time about hitting being contagious you got hot then Rami got hot, then Derek Lee got hot. Uh, do you guys feel that down there in the dugout that, that, that once the game starts and somebody gets that first hit, you're going to have a big offensive day? Oh, man, we feel very comfortable right now. You know, I think, uh, uh, you know, it's the September, and I think everything is close. I think uh, everybody concentration a little bit more, and, you know, I think we play very good right now. Ponzi, uh, talking about the month of September and this is a time when the team leaders need to shine and that has happened with this team what is it about the, the final month and when you really need to, to get it done that, that has allowed you and Aramis and Derek to really step up your game and hit all these big home runs I think like I said before you know I think uh, everybody know that you know it's not too much time left you know it's only seven games and now you know uh, Milwaukee is behind us and I think uh, everybody concentration you know because I think everybody want to go to the playoff and we're ready for it. Alfonso talk a little bit about the fans out there in left field. Uh, you've made some real friends out there this summer haven't you. Oh man I have a good time all the time when I play here in the regular play uh, with those fans. So I think those fans are very special and I feel very comfortable with those fans. Alfonso congratulations great ball game. We'll see you tomorrow. All right. All right. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Well Soriano and the fans a love affair out in left field. Sam Foltz made some new friends out in right with one of the great catches of 2007. More to come. The Cubs win 9-5 the final. The American Idols from season one. Where are they now? I'm working on my own reality show. I did seven episodes of Boston Public. And of course, Kelly Clarkson. Their stories are still being written. American Idol Rewind. Sunday at 8 Eastern on Superstation WGA. You're messing with the wrong guy. We're up to a million hits. Sweet. Who is it? Chuck Norris. Yeah, right.
never-ending pasta bowl is going on. Oh, you didn't know? No, I, I, I figured that's why you were in such a hurry to get here. No, no, I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> Olive Garden's never-ending pasta bowl is back with delicious new sauces like sausage and peppers marinara and smoked mozzarella Alfredo. Pick any combination of sauce and pasta, then another. Try them all for just $8.95 plus endless breadsticks and salad. I'll have the penny with meat sauce followed by the five cheese marinara. No idea, huh? <laughs> Olive Garden, when you're here, you're family. Reunited and it feels so good. <laughs> One in three pets will get lost. So Home Again created the only proactive pet recovery network, instantly alerting local vets and shelters the minute your pet is reported missing. Talk to your vet today about Home Again. Sunday on WGN, before the Cubs and Pirates collide on the field, get the inside scoop on Chicago's quest for a divisional crown with push for the playoffs. Sunday at 1.30 Eastern on Superstation WGN. For the Chicago Cubs, nine runs on 15 hits, no errors, nine men left. For the Pittsburgh Pirates, five runs, eight hits, one error, five stranded. The winning pitcher, Rich Hill, now 10 and 8. The losing pitcher, Zach Duke, 3 and 8. Two hours and 35 minutes in front of 41,271 to push the Cubs above their all time single season attendance mark and our butt plays of the game. We're going to go with the two home runs by Alfonso Soriano. He goes oppo for the first time at Wrigley Field in the second inning and a two run blast in the fifth inning on the left center. Okay, and there's been a lot of games this year. It's been tough to pick a play or a player of the game, but recently oh, you can just throw a dart at the lineup card. Everybody contributing in a big way. None more so than Alfonso Soriano today. Season series tied seven apiece with a rubber game tomorrow. As the Cubs go for the sweep in this series. Got to get that W flag on for it. Come on. There you go. Cubs win. Don't touch my Bud Light. <laughs> yeah, right. Refreshingly smooth Bud Light. Always worth it. Oh, no. Nice work, boys. You can never have too many people on your side. Right there when you need them most. And now, two names committed to improving senior health are there for you, too. Introducing AARP Medicare Complete, provided through Secure Horizons, the only Medicare Advantage plan with the AARP name on it. AARP and Secure Horizons are committed to seniors and all Medicare beneficiaries, and we'd like to send you a free educational guide, Medicare Advantage Explained. To get yours, call today. Together, we can help you get more from your Medicare benefits. I've known Secure Horizons by United Healthcare for years. Medicare health plans are their specialty. And now with AARP, I'm expecting even better things to come. I'll be at your side. There's no need to worry. AARP Medicare Complete, provided through Secure Horizons. Call now for your free guide. Fred Flintstone, an employee of Slate Rock Gravel Company. His wife, Wilma, a stay-at-home mom. Yet on this working man's salary, how did Wilma afford a necklace made of huge rocks? Mr. Slate pays well, but he doesn't pay that well. An investigation would reveal that Fred had the Flintmobile insured with Geico, saving the couple untold amounts of money. Their friendship with the Rubbles would soon become strained. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Superstation WGN is your home for blockbuster movies that let you escape into another world. Where you can be a hero. The United States government just has to save the world. Anybody want to say no? A queen. I am my father's daughter. I am not afraid of anything. A thief. It's not about the money. We like to chase. Where you can be a little crazy. You're crazy. You're beautiful. Where your dreams come true. Where I feel like I can fly. Where you can fall in love. Are you the author of the plays of William Shakespeare? I am. And kiss me again, for I'm not this time. Where you can go back in time. Right. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Or where you can go back home. E.T. Phone home. 
Superstation WGN is your home for blockbuster movies that are fun for the entire family. You got into Harvard Law? What, like it's hard? With action. What the hell is happening? I blew up the building! What? Because you made a phone call! Adventure. And everything in between. From the classics to the cutting edge, and from first kisses to first loves, our movies are where dreams come true. Superstation WGN. Cubs beat the Pirates for the second straight day, 9-5, to five, the final. So they have a two-game lead in the National League Central. Great pitching matchup in Atlanta today. Cub fans everywhere rooting for John Smoltz and the Atlanta Braves over Giovanni Gallardo. Well, it's not over yet, and I'm sure that's what Lou Pinella is telling his team. He probably doesn't even have to remind them, but how is the manager feeling? I mean, this it's a very euphoric atmosphere here at the ballpark, but they haven't clinched anything yet. Yeah, I think a lot of the fans have already started celebrating, uh, hopefully, what will be a division crown, but uh, as a manager and as the players, you still have to continue to grind. It sounds like a cliche, but it's never more real than it is at this time of the year. Don't get too far ahead of yourself. Just take care of business on a given day. Let's listen in. Lou Pinella after the ball game. If you can't get excited about this, you're just not an excitable person. <laughs> but today, uh, you know, our big guys, Soriano with two, Lee with one, Ramirez. This time of the year, that's what you hope for, and that's exactly what we're getting. How about that play? Isn't that a beautiful play? Uh, just put them in for defense. And uh, he went to the wall, made a great play, and, and, and then turned around and, and made a one-hop strike to first base. Pretty impressive. What do you think of the contributions you're getting from a lot of the kids that you brought up? Well, we've been getting that all year, sir. We have. I mean, and, and we played. We played them. Uh, but at, at different times, it's been different people. But uh, we got some talent down there at the minor league system, and and I think here at the major league club, we've we've utilized it. Yeah, maybe the catch of the year, and uh, I'm surprised he wasn't bloodied on that play. I'm sure he's going to be a little sore tomorrow. You know, you hear, you've all heard that cliche about he'll run through a wall for you. Managers would rather have a guy that runs to the wall and makes the play, and that's what Sam Fold did. I think the Culver's sweet defensive play was was actually formulated. For this one right here today, Niger Morgan sent it deep to right. And not only, Bob, did he make the catch, but he turned a double play. And without a hesitation, crashes off the ivy and the bricks out there, gets his feet underneath him and unleashes a strong throw back to the infield to finish the double play. That's as good as it gets. All right, looking ahead to tomorrow, Tom Gorzolani, who's uh, one of the elite left-handers in this league. Carlos Zambrano, who hasn't won here at Wrigley Field since mid-July. And it uh, be a good time for the ace to, to send his team on the road after a sweep. Yeah, we'd really like to see Carlos bounce back with a big outing, especially here at Wrigley Field. Uh, it hasn't always been a pleasant place for him to pitch this year. And uh, as far as Gorzolani, I mentioned it during the telecast. The fact that the Cubs have seen two lefties in the last two days, I think, will work in their favor facing Gorzolani tomorrow. All right, I'm going to ask you to do something that's tough. Take your former manager's cap off and be uh, the manager professor here uh, you got to have some cushion when you go on the road correct I mean Milwaukee's going to have a tough road because they play San Diego but they're going to be at home where they have played better you want to be two maybe three games up if you can when you start the road trip right well ideally I mean granted the Florida Marlins haven't had the kind of year they were hoping for but uh, in that ballpark and probably under those conditions it's going to be tough to go in there and play the same kind of inspired baseball that we've seen here at Wrigley throughout this homestand so uh, yeah you'd like to get as much cushion as you possibly can uh, before before the Brewers get back in their own ballpark and the Cubs go out on the road. And because Milwaukee is at home, it's not as if the Cubs are going to clinch tomorrow or maybe even Tuesday. This thing could go down to the final series, but they have a nice lead, two games as Milwaukee plays at Atlanta coming up. And our next broadcast of Cubs baseball on WGN Sports will be tomorrow, the final regular season home game in 2007 here at Wrigley Field. We'll hit the air at 12.30 for a half hour special push for the playoffs hosted by Dan Roan followed by the leadoff man and the 
home season finale versus the Pittsburgh Pirates. Again, Gorzolani and Zambrano, our 60th year, bringing you Cubs baseball on WGN Sports. Baseball like it ought to be. Great job today by Dustin Eggleseeder, winner of the ultimate seventh inning stretch competition. What a day at Wrigley Field. We'll see you tomorrow. Chicago Cubs baseball brought to you by refreshingly smooth Bud Light. Always worth it. Your Chicagoland Dodge dealers. The Illinois Lottery. No matter how you play, play the Illinois Lottery. Have a ball. By Pepsi. Your world, your Pepsi. And by Southwest Airlines. Whether you're traveling for business or pleasure, Southwest can get you there with over 3,000 nonstop daily flights to over 60 destinations. Visit Southwest.com today. the Chase Freedom Credit Card. Now with triple rewards where you spend the most. So if it's gas stations and coffee shops one month and the next month it's grocery stores, the gym, and department stores, Chase Freedom is the only credit card that adjusts as your everyday spending changes and gives you triple bonus rewards automatically. That's Chase Freedom. Get it free at chase.com slash freedom. You can never have too many people on your side. Right there when you need them most. And now, two names committed to improving senior health are there for you, too. Introducing AARP Medicare Complete, provided through Secure Horizons, the only Medicare Advantage plan with the AARP name on it. AARP and Secure Horizons are committed to seniors and all Medicare beneficiaries, and we'd like to send you a free educational guide, Medicare Advantage Explained. To get yours, call today. Together, we can help you get more from your Medicare benefits. I've known Secure Horizons by United Healthcare for years. Medicare health plans are their specialty. And now with AARP, I'm expecting even better things to come. I'll be at your side. There's no need to worry. AARP Medicare Complete, provided through Secure Horizons. Call now for your free guide. Superstation WGN is your home for big league baseball. So come on home. The best of soul train. Brought to you in part by Coca-Cola. McDonald's. Chevrolet and American Airlines. Soul Train, television's longest running syndicated music program and the hippest trip in America with guest stars Run DMC. Genobia GJ and the Soul Train Dancers. And now, here's your host, Don Cornelius. Hello and welcome aboard. You're right on time for another ride on the big train. And in this first half hour, great songs from New Shoes, James Brown and Canio, all coming at you right after some very important messages.